Hey everyone, this is Larry. Welcome back to todayifeellike.com. Today I'm going to show you guys how to shoot anamorphic cinematic footage with your iPhones. Today I'm going to be using my iPhone XS Max, but you can use other iPhones as well. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. All right, before we get started, there's a couple things I need to go over. In order to shoot anamorphic cinematic footage with your phone, you are going to need actual hardware because uh, anamorphic footage is created by anamorphic lenses. And so I have one here made by Sandmark. This is a fantastic little lens. It actually comes with a uh, phone case, so it screws right into your iPhone so that you get a perfect alignment. And so this is what we're gonna be using today. Also, because of the way anamorphic uh, uh, cinema footage works, you're gonna have to de-squeeze it. And so I'll show you guys how to do that in both Final Cut Pro and how to do it in, um, in Adobe Premiere. So, uh, but before we do any of that, we actually need to go get some anamorphic footage, some cinematic footage. So let's go shoot a little bit and uh, get some footage and then we'll go ahead and I'll show you guys on the computer how to make it really work for you. All right, so the first thing we have to do is actually put the lens onto the phone here. So we're just gonna go ahead and screw this onto the case there. And we'll see there that screws right on. And now you may notice here, there's a little line right there. It's a little hash line on the phone case. And we'll just take the lens cap off. There's a little white line on the actual uh, lens here. And what you wanna do is just line those two up so that you have them perfectly aligned so that you make sure your image isn't warped or looking weird. So just wanna make that, make sure that's as lined up as closely as possible. Just give it a good eyeball there and then uh, you are ready to start shooting. so we're out here at Great Falls you may be able to see and hear the falls behind me have my anamorphic lens we've been shooting a little bit of footage so you guys can check it out so uh, we're gonna move on from here we're gonna see what else we can find and uh, go a little a uh, few other places shoot a little bit more footage and uh, yeah we'll just get some stuff together then we'll throw it in our editor and show you guys how to de-squeeze it and make it work Right, so what you just watched was a few sample clips using the anamorphic lens. They were already de-squeezed, so they had their proper uh, aspect ratios. But let's go ahead, we're gonna hop on the computer now. I'm gonna show you guys how to actually get that to, uh, to look that way, get your footage to look that way, where it's all nice and de-squeezed. I'll show you guys first and final cut, then we'll jump over to Adobe Premiere and we'll do it there. It's very simple, very quick, so let's go ahead and hop on in. All right, so here we are. I'm in Final Cut Pro right now, and this is my timeline. This is just a regular 4K timeline. This is some 4K footage I shot 
at the beginning of this video with my A6400. And so let's actually go to the end of the video here where I have some anamorphic footage. And as we can see, it is not de-squeezed. It looks sort of weird and funky. It's, uh, it's actually filling up the entire frame instead of having the letter boxes. You can see on this clip that Abraham Lincoln, Abraham Lincoln looks sort of elongated. And we'll go to the first clip here uh, where we have MLK. You can see that he looks sort of elongated. The people look weird. So now in order to de-squeeze this, it's very, very simple. Just click the clip that you want to de-squeeze and then we're gonna go over here to our video inspector. So we're gonna go ahead, we're just gonna make sure it stays there. We're gonna go make sure we're on our video selector. Come over here to where uh, it says transform. We're gonna click on the, uh, the Y axis right there where it says scale Y. We're gonna click that there and we're just going to type in 75.19. So 75.19. Now the reason why I did that is is that the lens I have is a 1.33 um, aspect ratio lens and so there are other uh, there are other lenses that have like uh, 2.35 or some other different aspect ratios and so but when you take the 1.33 and you divide it by 100 you get 75.186 something blah 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 so I just rounded it up to uh, 75.19 and when we hit return on our keyboard we're gonna see all of our anamorphic magic come to life so there you go, you click that and now you have your anamorphic footage with this proper aspect ratio and it looks fantastic. Now, if you wanna get all of your other clips this way, you see the other ones are still regular um, squeezed and they're not de-squeezed yet. If you wanna get these, all the rest of them right, all you have to do is just simply click that, the, leave the one uh, clip that you already de-squeezed clicked and highlight it and then we're gonna come up here and we're just gonna go uh, to edit and we're going to go now to where it says copy and we'll click on copy and now what we want to do is just go ahead and highlight the rest of the clips so we'll just go ahead and we'll we'll just go ahead and, and lasso all those over there and highlight the rest of the clips and now what we want to do is we just want to come up here back to where it says edit and now we want to go ahead and click where it says paste attributes so we're going to go ahead and click on paste attributes and there we go, you're gonna see it's gonna tell us that we have five clips selected that we're gonna to paste to. It's gonna tell us the image that, or the video file that we're going to uh, be copying from. And it's gonna tell us which attributes are gonna actually be um, pasted over. So we have scale right here, which is what we want. So we're gonna go ahead now and click on paste. And just like that, you can see now all of our uh, footage there is in its proper aspect ratio. We, it's all de-squeezed and it has the proper uh, letter boxes. So it's very, very easy to do. It's very quick to do. So let's go ahead now and we'll jump over to um, Adobe Premiere and I'll show you guys quickly how to do it there as well. Okay, so here I am now in Final Cut Pro and here is my timeline and I have just a regular 4K timeline here as well. Same footage used from my A6400. So let's go ahead now over and we'll see here, this is my anamorphic footage uh, right here. And we can see again that it is not de-squeezed. So in order to de-squeeze it, we're just gonna go ahead and select it. Now once you have your clip selected, just make sure that you're over here on the effects panel or effects control. So normally it is defaulted to the source, but if you just wanna go ahead and click on the uh, effects control, then make sure that your footage is selected there. And now what we wanna do is we wanna come over here and go to this little box right here that says uniform scale. I believe it is checked by default. We need to go ahead and uncheck it. And there we go, once we uncheck it, you will see now we have the option to change both the height and the width. When it's checked, it's not, it's just gonna show a scale right there and it's gonna change both of them together. We wanna to uncheck that and now from the height where it says scale height at 100%, what we want to do is click that and again we want to type in 75.19 that's it and then there you go you can see we now have our anamorphic footage right and de-squeezed and looking good now in order to um in order to actually do all the rest of your clips and get them all de-squeezed at the same time instead of having to do them one by one what we want to do is just click on it make sure it's highlighted and then we're gonna come over here and we're gonna go from uh, the top menu, we're gonna go to copy and click copy. And once we've done that, we're now gonna come over here and we're going to just lasso all of these, um, all the rest of our anamorphic footage together. So we're gonna make sure all those are selected and we'll just get those all going here. So 
We'll make sure all those clips are selected. I think there's one more in there. Yep, that's it right there. Okay, so now what we can do is, um, you can see it's not, um, we can see that the footage is not de-squeezed. It, uh, it is still covering the full screen there. So all we have to do in order to, uh, to actually get this right is just simply go to edit again. And now what we can do is once we click edit and from the drop down menu, we're gonna go ahead and select paste attributes. It's gonna bring open this little box right here that says paste attributes. And you wanna make sure over here that these are, are selected, these two boxes, one where it says scale attribute times. And we also wanna make sure it says, uh, where it says video attributes, where it says motion. We wanna go ahead and select motion. And so we're gonna go ahead and make sure those two are clicked. We're gonna click okay. And when we do, it's going to go ahead and apply those attributes to the, to the rest of our anamorphic footage. And just like that, there we go. We can now see we have our anamorphic footage right there. It's all de-squeezed and ready to use. So there it is. That is, it's just that simple. It looks good, it's easy to do, it's very, very simple. So if you shot a whole project with anamorphic footage, you can actually just uh, set up your 4K timeline like you normally do, and then just de-squeeze one clip, and then you can go ahead and apply those attributes to the rest of your footage so everything is de-squeezed. Also, if you're mixing footage like I am, where I was mixing regular 4K, um, you know, 16 by nine footage with anamorphic footage. It's very easy to do the same thing. You're just using a 4K timeline, a 4K timeline, and then you're de-squeezing your footage so that you have your anamorphic footage mixed in there with it. So, but that's how you do it in Adobe Premiere as well. All right, everyone, so there you have it. That is how you can de-squeeze your anamorphic footage using Adobe Premiere or Final Cut Pro 10. It's very easy. Now, as far as shooting it, I am using the Sandmark anamorphic lens for the iPhone XS Max. Well, this is just the lens is for uh, various different iPhones and there's some other devices I believe you can use as well with the clip-on lens, but I'm using the iPhone XS Max and the Sandmark anamorphic lens. It's a 1.33x lens. It's fantastic. And that's how you de-squeeze it. As you can see, it's very simple in both editing suites. You just simply de-squeeze one clip and then you can go ahead and uh, paste those attributes over to all the rest of your anamorphic footage so that you can quickly and easily uh, de-squeeze all of your footage at once. So. Anyhow, I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. I'm gonna leave links to uh, this Sandmark anamorphic lens down below in the video description so you guys can check it out if you're interested in making your, uh, your cell phone video cinematic and beautiful. I'm also gonna leave a link to my Amazon page so you guys can see all the products that I've reviewed over time. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel and follow me on Facebook. And I am Larry with todayifeellike.com. Thanks for coming back to see me. Come back and see me soon. And until next time, love, peace, and hair grease. Peace.